Hi guys and welcome to Hedna LA post uh, session interviews. It's great to have you behind the scenes. You guys have just done a panel on the outlook for 2020 and technology. The personalization piece, everyone rec recognizes the importance of personalization, but given that you all represent now tech companies, how are you best supporting your customers to service their guests for, for their personalization? Rate gain works in a few verticals, but the distribution vertical our intent is to build such connectivity that is able to pass as many attributes as possible. I think personalization happens on the other, other end, uh, whoever the demand channel might be. It could be a brand website, it could be a GDS, or it could be a OTA. Um, so whatever the supply or the chain partner strategy is, uh, our endeavor is to basically build those connections in such a way that we're able to pass as much as possible. It really does come down to what the distribution channels merchandising systems are able to actually support and how they actually want to merchandise that product. And so as you provide a little bit broader um, set of data elements to those merchandising systems, um, you know, I think a lot of it comes down to what their capabilities are. Like I said in, our, in the interview uh, earlier on the panel, we're looking at really focusing and honing in on the segments that are very fragmented today and still stuck in the ice age. Um, so we're trying to bring them forward and we don't want the tail to wag the dog, meaning we don't want the technology to dictate the need. So it's having a lot of dialogue and with our distributors and our um, hoteliers to under, truly understand the need behind the need. It's, it's like the least common denominator. If, if they can support it, then you can provide it to them. But if they can't support it or then at the property level, the PMS can't you know, take it and do anything for the front desk with it, then it ends there without end up going to the end consumer, which is the intention. So it gets lost before it gets to the desired impact. Mm -hmm. So, but we, whatever they need, you know, we can be the vehicle to deliver it. It's just that execution at the front desk is the gap. What that means to me is getting the right price or the right offer in front of the person for one thing when they're booking, mm -hmm. but in order to do that you need the right data. How can the industry move forward to ensure that they're getting the right data to be able to present the right pricing? What's the best way to do that? The regulations are making it more and more challenging it because is, you have right. all the data privacy of what you yeah. can and cannot provide, which is sometimes contains the key elements of what's needed to make that decision. So it's getting harder to do whatever it is wanting to be done, but at the same time people want the personalization but they also want the privacy. Mm. So there's a, a blend that's going to have to happen at some point where one will win out or the other. One thing that Jan Freitag said in his keynote speech as well was that uh, we don't really, or they don't foresee a lot of growth, in fact zero growth for, for the, this year and possibly the next. How as tech providers do you support your customers to uh, navigate that as well and, and deal with a slow turn or a downturn? The whole aspect for us, you know, particularly Derbysoft, is just the vehicle to deliver. I don't have any engagement with the end consumer or, you know, at any point of the, you know, the right. equation. Right. So for us, it's just enabling what does the supplier need, what does the distributor need, and as well, there's so many emerging technologies that are coming in and trying to insert themselves as well right. into the piece. And so the economy for me isn't impacted as great. It's just the matter of providing solutions that keep you know, technology moving forward to enable new opportunities and not just the same constant, you know, here's the room, here's the price, yeah. you know, the booking. Yeah. And it is, and it's engagement with our distributors too, understanding Uniqueness. what their true needs are and they know that they're, they know the personalization needs of their consumer, right? Yeah. And that's what we need to engage and understand. And yeah. uh, The business that the four of us are in and helping provide um, access to other, you know, forms of demand um, into the hotel community. Um, I think when you go back and you look at the various downturns that we've had, uh, this will be, if this cycle happens, it'll be my third. Um, and, and with that being said, it's interesting, even with the needle moving a couple degrees to one side, how much more reliant um, the community is really relying upon us to help them yeah. Um, yeah. You know, provide um, and continue to try to keep those occupancy levels at the at yeah. where we can. Yeah, I think with a downturn, everybody just needs to work harder. I mean, we're part of the ecosystem. If, if the suppliers or the demand partners don't do well, it's in nobody's interest. Mm -hmm. um, luckily, travel continues to grow. Mm -hmm. uh, and to your earlier point, I think, how do we take out friction? Um, so on one side, there's regulation, but on the other side, there's uh, customer preference. And I think we'll reach a stage where suppliers and demand partners would just have to work closer and better together. Yeah, excellent. Okay, guys, thanks very much. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.